Hi, and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to use a post grid and inject inside of it some advanced custom fields. So the first thing we are going to need to do is, of course, install Unlimited Elements, navigate to the post grid category, and install one of the skins that we like. I've installed it by clicking install and I'm going into pages. In pages I'm going to add new and edit with Elementor. Once Elementor is loaded we can scroll down and select our post grid, drag it inside and it's being populated automatically with all our posts we can select a specific kind of category we can determine how many posts we want to show and we can determine how many we want to show in each column so each post is showing right now the featured image the title the publish date a small description and a read more button which opens the post page itself Cool, this is looking good, but in my website, I want to show events. So I want to add some advanced custom fields, like the price of the event, the date of the event, and the time of the event. And I want them to show in my post grid. Also, I would like to take off the publish date of the post, which is not relevant to events. So let's just save this and jump inside of WordPress. I'm going into custom fields. For this tab to show in the WordPress menu, you need advanced custom fields installed, which is the most popular um, custom field plugin for WordPress. I'm going to group this up by calling it events and add a new field. The first field will be price. Second field will be time. And the third field will be date. Looking good, I have my field set up, and the next, next thing I want to do is to publish. I got this published, and we're going into posts. Before doing anything in the widget creator, we're going to need to take one of these posts as an example and inject it with those custom fields. So I'm going to open one of them, and over here, as you can see, we have our custom fields. We can enter inside any data we want. For example, it's going to cost $42. It's going to be 9.30 p.m. And it's going to be at March 21, 2020. Cool. So we've added the data of the custom fields. Again, I'm saying it's super important to do this before doing any steps in the widget creator and I will explain that also later so going back into my widget which I'm in edit mode and I can click edit widget HTML this button is a new addition that we just added in the new version which quickly helps you open our widget creator framework so let's click that and over here let's make our first change the first change I want to do before adding that custom field is I want to take off this publish date field so I'm going to delete that click update and over here we can refresh and this line is supposed to be deleted let's see if it's working great the change I wanted has worked next thing I'm going to do is I want to inject inside different types of fields. So you can use any of the existing post fields that we let you use, but we've added an advanced custom field. To show the advanced custom field, we're going to need to go to attributes, open the post list attribute. Over here, we need to select the post that we've added those fields too. In this case, it's lorem ipsum. And we need to enable the use of custom fields. I'm going to update my attribute. And I'm going back into the HTML. Over here, I will open a new div.
and inside of it, I will inject those new fields. Again, on the right side, I see all my attributes. I'm going into post list. And as you can see, once we scroll down, we have the price, the time, and the date that we've just added. So let's add price and click on it on the right side. It's been added. I'm going to add a BR for line break time. BR and date. Cool. We've got this set up. I'm going to click update. And in my post list, I'm going to refresh. As you can see, it's bringing the data dynamically from the post, the price, the time, and the date. This is a very powerful tool to create any custom layout you want to be driven from posts and advanced custom fields. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Unlimited Elements. Thank you for joining. I was Amit. See you next time.